Colorado animal shelters really continue to struggle with the high number of animals coming in. And as Denver 7's Danielle Croydon reports, while National Rescue Dog Rescue Day comes to an end tonight, it is not too late to do your part to help. Eleanor was picked up from a hoarding and neglect case in Texas. Um, Underdogs does a really great job of kind of finding some really challenging cases. Kella Manfredi works with several local animal shelters and rescues. You good girl, you good girl. She's rescued 88 dogs herself over the years. And of all 88 dogs, I have never had a behavioral problem. I have never had something that couldn't be handled or couldn't be fixed uh, within a rescue environment or a vet. She's a huge advocate for rescue dogs and adoptions it has never been more important. Denver 7's been closely covering shelters across the state, hitting their capacity limit. It's an ongoing problem. A quick search of shelter and rescue websites in the Denver metro area show more than 270 dogs are waiting for their forever home. There's just simply not enough room for all of these relinquishments and all of these strays that are coming in. Sometimes they're tripling up kennels, which is not ideal for anyone. And when there's not enough room. Sometimes people don't want to hear what the answer is, but I know the Colorado shelters are doing everything they possibly can to make sure that they are getting animals put into rescue so they don't have to make that choice to euthanize. So to celebrate National Rescue Dog Day this weekend, do your homework. Be aware of how much an emergency vet bill costs, how much, um, you know, do your due diligence on breed. And consider giving a rescue dog a chance. I think the misconception is that you're just getting like a, a used dog and those are the best dogs. They're the most grateful, they're the most appreciative, they're the most loyal. In Lakewood, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Best dog, mutt from a pound. That's how you do it. You <laughs> rescue the dogs. And if you're maybe not ready, you can adopt. Take the pressure off those shelters. Foster a pet. And that helps uh, make room for the kennels temporarily. You can also spend a few hours there volunteering. Those are like. some cute dogs, right, too.